Hi, this is Rick Francis with Singing News, and I'm with the pride of Beaver Dam, Kentucky. The pride. I like to keep it real. Jason Crabb. Nominated. Yeah. Nominated for Best Roots Gospel Album this year. Man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. And uh, Jordan, where are you Jordan from? Jordan Reynolds. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, Jordan St. Louis, Missouri. is a Kentucky. Yeah. I'm not the I'm not the pride of St. Louis, Missouri, though. Uh, yeah, I would say you are. <laughs> I like to, I like to keep I it would real. Say you. How long has it been since somebody's brought up Beaver Dam, Kentucky, to you? I just want to keep it real here. Just yesterday. Yesterday, good. No, well, listen. <laughs> Be Beaver okay. Dam's awesome. Okay, Jordan is a co-writer, or is he a writer? Of uh, Washed by the water. Co-writer, yes. Co-writer. Yeah, yes. Washed Me, by the water. Myself. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell you the truth about it. Okay. Don't do Here's the truth. Please do. Jordan and Dave Barnes, let me be in the room. Oh please. I tried. Honestly, I think I inspired them. <laughs> they Take a little he just did some, he just did Take some low credit. hums, you know, got us yeah. in the gospel spirit. Yeah. And next thing you know, there was a song. So that song is a radio single, it's on your new album. Is that on Unexpected? Unexpected. It's Unexpected. On the that's okay. Unquote. That's what's but nominated. That's the that's album that's nominated. That's beans and taters to, compared to what this guy's up for. He's got so listen, amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing. He had, well, how many did you have on Dan and Shay's record this year? Eight. Uh, six. Six. Eight. Six, six to eight. I don't know. Six enough. or eight. <laughs> do you live here in Nashville now? I do live in Nashville. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And what do you do besides songwriting? You an artist or? Uh, just songwriting now. I used to work at a church up in Hendersonville, actually, okay. uh, called Long Hollow Baptist, and I left about six months ago now to do full-time songwriting. So. Okay. And how did you two t uh, hook up? Honestly, write? it was from some uh, my road manager went to Long Hollow Baptist, said you've got to write with Jordan. Somehow he asked Jordan if I could come over and write with him. Next thing you know, I'm over there with Jordan, Dave Barnes, drinking coffee, well, this is my writing a song, and I'm blown away. I'm like, God, how did awesome I get here? It was amazing. When did you know for sure? What, what was the moment that you knew, yes, that's going to be on the album? When he first started. As <laughs> soon as he started the, the little track thing. Man, he's a genius. He's like ridiculous, amazing. Him and Dave, I mean. How did this interview become about me? This is supposed to be about you. <laughs> no, no, it's about, it is about that. It's giving credit where credit is due. And honestly, the, the, probably the hottest writer in Nashville right now. I, I, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Thanks. You wrote you were three uh, for Lorna Lane, right? Yeah. You wrote on part of that, uh -huh. which I think it is a re amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Well, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. On your nominations. And we're at the Grammy nominee party here in Nashville for 2019. Best Roots Gospel Album. Woo. You guys uh, collaborated, wrote a song on that that was a radio single that is doing well. You got a song up for Dan and Shay, right, too? Yeah. 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 So, and then what, is there anything else you're up for? That's it. That's it. No, that's yeah. it. So, hey, it's, it's amazing. We're, we're excited. It's what does it mean to you to be nominated for a Grammy? You'll get asked that a lot, but I'm, I, I want to get into your heart. What here's does it what, mean to you? Here's what I say about Grammy Awards, and this is the way I feel about it. Gr the Grammy Awards loves everyone. Doesn't matter if you sing polka music or you do rap, you do a cartoon record, <laughs> you do, I don't, I don't know, songs about crayons. And the Grammys go, that's the greatest thing ever. Let us wrap your, our arms around you and love you. And so here's the cool thing. When we go to the Grammys, if you're up for it, all you peers, you know, we go to the Grammys, you walk the carpet. The first year I went, I looked to my, to my right, and, and it was crazy. I'm on a red carpet with Errol Smith. I'm from Beaver Dam, Kentucky. You know, I mean, you might be used to that now, right, with all these people. But you know what I'm saying? That's a big deal. It's crazy. Errol Smith, Beyonce. I remember Beyonce was walking by and I said, hey, really like your music. And she's like, thank you, sir. And I'm like, that was Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody is, is welcome.
So, and I love that. Yeah, I do too, and I'm so glad to see so many Southern gospel artists recognized at the Grammys. Yeah. I congratulate you both. Thank, Thank you. you for visiting with Singing News today, and congratulations and good luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.